Aloha, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Market Watch for Irvine and Orange County. I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. Uh, we are here in beautiful Maui, up in Kaunapali, uh, having a little family vacation, but I still wanted to make sure that I got this information out to you guys. So for those of you tuning in for the first time, each week I take a look at what is happening in the Irvine and Orange County housing market. And then I break down the or Irvine housing market into three separate sections. First time home buyers, step up and luxury. So the market is still very strong. Uh, we're seeing homes that are coming on the market. They're moving very quickly, especially those homes that are aligned properly. Uh, we're, we saw a little bit of a rise in inventory but we're still hovering around hovering around that 4000 mark for supply for active homes which is quite low for this year we're not seeing homes come on as quickly and we're not seeing that inventory numbers rise as fast as we have in years past so uh, I'm not gonna waste any other time I'm gonna jump right in and let's take a look at what happened in Orange County last week so for the week of February 14th to the 22nd, we saw 541 homes sell. Uh, that is up from 300 homes the week before. Again, this is an extra day, so we did. We're, there's going to be a little bit of a uh, a difference in the numbers here, but so we'll just take take those with a little bit of a grain of salt because we are going to see definitely going to see more this week because we do have an extra day of sold. Uh, an extra day of activity in this week's report. Uh, average days on market for the homes that sold, 48. That is down from 55. So definitely typical when we're in a low inventory market, we are seeing homes sell faster. Uh, the number of homes on the market right now was up from 3,996 last week, is now 4,026 this week. So like I said, still quite low compared to what we've seen in years past. The average uh, price, sold price, was just over a million dollars with the average list price of a million 33. 944 with a list of sold percentage of 96.8 which is down slightly from the 97.8 that we saw last week so uh, that's something that is definitely that we're going to look for that trend to see if that continues because this is sometimes what happens and when we get into this hot sellers market is sellers come on and they really want to shoot for that high price and when they do that they end up having to reduce because they're over the last comp by too much they're not pricing their home properly it's not aligned properly so they end up either sitting and having to do price reductions or if they want to move quickly they're doing price reductions right off the hop but they're starting off trying for that high high price and we do see that typically um, I know notice this week and you'll see with the numbers when we look at Irvine we did see a big drop in that list of sold percentage so let's take a look at what happened in Irvine last week so in the Irvine housing market we had 59 homes sell uh, up from 26 last week uh, even though we've got an extra day in there that is a pretty big jump we're seeing a lot of homes the uh, the big number change that we saw was 42 days on market for those homes. So the homes that sold were only on the market for just over a month, which is a hot, hot seller's market, almost cut in half from last week. Last week was 86 days on the market. Uh, we actually saw inventory drop in Irvine. So our housing supply went from 492 last week to 479 this week pretty crazy numbers uh, the average sale price uh, in Irvine was nine hundred and eighty seven thousand five fifty four the average list price a million sixty two two fifty two that is a list of sold ratio of ninety three percent which is a big drop that dropped almost four just over four percent from last week and again I think people are coming on they're really shooting for that number and they're having to reduce slightly because uh, they're really just overpricing buyers right now are willing to pay a little bit extra but they're not gonna overshoot 
and they're not going to pay um, exorbitant amounts more like they did in years past and say like 2012, 2013, when it was just getting out of hand. We're not there yet. They're going to pay, they're looking at fair market value and they may go a little bit above fair market value, but that's pretty much it. So as a seller, you really have to make sure that you're priced correctly and you're aligned in the market so that you will sell quickly. So, like I said in, in, in the beginning, and the, for those of you that have seen the, these shows before, now I'm going to break down the Irvine housing market, and the first category that we look at is the first-time home buyer category. That's anything from zero to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, and let's take a look at what happened in that category last week. So, in the Irvine first-time home buyer category, we had ninety. We have nine. Currently, have ninety-six active homes on the market. Uh, that is down slightly from 100 last week. The average days on market for those homes is 65 days right now, uh, up a bit from 60 last week. We only had seven homes sell last week, 23 homes sold, sell this week. So it's a big jump in the number of, of, of homes sold. So I think one of the biggest misconceptions that happens when we get into these hot sellers markets is that people really think that they can put their house on any condition little marketing, overprice it, and it's going to sell. And that's not the case. You still need to make sure that you're marketing your home properly. Uh, so when you talk to your agent, you need to make sure they have a solid marketing plan that includes video, audio, or video, uh, solid professional photography, and a great marketing engine that's really going to drive it to as many buyers as possible so that you increase your buyer pool, you bring as many people in. Because the more people that see your home, the more likely you're going to get maybe one offer, maybe two offers. You get multiple offers, now you're talking, and now we're looking at getting uh, that top dollar, and you're not, you know you're not going to leave any money on the table. So you need to make sure that your house is aligned properly, and the condition's right, the marketing's right, the price is right, and that way you know it's going to sell for the four top dollars. So um, that's something for all of these categories, but I just really thought I'd jump in to let you know about that right now because it is so important. So now we've taken a look at the first time home buyer. Now let's take a look at the step up category. So in the step up buyer's market, we had uh, 183 homes that are currently on the market with an average days on market for those at 63. Uh, last week, we actually had 188 uh, and with an average days on market of 63 as well. So pretty much the same. We did see a little bit of a dip in the inventory. Uh, 12 homes sold last week, 28 this week. So we did see a big influx in the number of homes sell. So what we're finding is that homes that are really priced right and aligned, as soon as they hit the market, they're gone. Like there's no time. Uh, so the, the benefit of finding off market properties and things like that are great. On a side note, one of the perfect uh, examples, we have buyers that are looking to for in a certain area. We sent out letters explaining that these buyers are looking for a home. We have a meeting this weekend with a uh, seller that is looking to sell in the next month or two. Um, these buyers are ready to go, so we're hopefully going to be able to put them together and put something together off market, which is how great is that? Our buyers don't have to worry about uh, bidding and finding that property, and the seller doesn't have to worry about open houses, doesn't have to worry about um, is, is the house going to sell? I mean, you know what I mean? Like we're you're, it's kind of a win-win on both sides if we can make it come together. That's our, that, and that's our job, and that's what we're going to look at doing this weekend. But it's a great idea, and that's what um, good buyers agents need to do. So when you're talking to your agent, they got to have a strategy. I always talk about strategies. That's what I'm talking about: having a strategy to find your home, and that, that is just one strategy. Sending out letters door knocking, things like that. You need to be able to find these unique ways, especially in the seller's market, for um, a buyer to be able to find those home and really that buyer's agent to be able to help you find your home. So make sure you're talking to them about that and asking them those important questions. Um, so now that we've looked at both the step up category and the first time home buyers, now we're gonna take a look at the luxury side of things and see what happened there. So in the luxury market, uh, we did see a, a small increase in uh, inventory. Inventory went from 204 last week to 208 homes this week. Average days on market stayed the same at 95 days. 
and we the uh, the number of solds we had seven last week we had eight this week so not much of a difference pretty much this one leveled out this was the most level of all three categories and we we do know that you might be wondering again why we see 95 days average days on market in this category it's simple there's not as many buyers the buyer pool is smaller when we get into the luxury side of things and when that happens it just you're not going to get as many buyers looking and so you may not those homes are going to sit longer you're not going to get may not get those bidding wars things like that so it really all depends on the buyer pool the lower the price the more buyers that can look look at that home and can afford that home it and the higher the price the small the smaller number of buyers so that's where we get into that and that's where you'll see those days increase so overall market is super strong sellers market right now we're seeing homes really sell that especially again that are aligned market uh, model ready price right they are just flying off the shelves um, and there's really just not enough homes out there right now uh, so it's really a good time if you're thinking of selling get in the market now get your house ready get on the market uh, if you're thinking of buying you got to have a strategy like I talked about talk to your buyer's agent get a strategy together. Uh, this market is going to stay strong. We figure all the way through spring and into the summer months. Um, and then we might see a little bit of a slowdown as we move towards the holiday, the fall and the holiday season. So now that we take a look at the market as a whole, I always take a look at the rates quickly. Um, thank you again, Patty Carpenter. She sent these rates over so I can get them to you. So let's take a look and see what happened in the mortgage world. So when we look at rates, a conforming 15-year fixed is 3.375%, uh, a 30-year fixed is 3.625%, and a conforming 7-1 arm is 3.375%. So remember, those conforming rates are the uh, increased loan limits that happened this year. Um, you're looking at a, a mortgage a purchase price of $805,000 with 10% down, uh, 620 FICO score. Uh, it's really unbelievable what you can get right now and these are amazing rates so the jumbo 30-year fixed is at 3.25 percent with a jumbo 71 arm at three percent flat unbelievable so the fha 30-year fixed 3.375 percent as you know most fhas you can actually go with a lower down payment and uh, finally for our veterans the 30-year fixed is 3.375 percent so all in all, again, super strong market right now. Uh, if you're thinking of selling, get in the market. Don't waste any time. You don't want to leave any money on the table. If you're a buyer, make sure you sit down with your agent. Come up with a solid strategy. And if they don't give you a solid strategy, call me and I'll give you a strategy. Uh, even if you're not in this area, I can talk to things that you should be asking your agent and we can definitely help hook you up with questions that you should be asking so that you not only find the home, you get your offer accepted, and we also have strategies for if you are in multiple offers, ways to make your offer stand out. So if you have any questions at all about anything, whether it's buying or selling, make sure you reach out to us. Uh, all of our contact information is here. Hit me up in the comments. I'll be able to help you in any way that I can. Um, if you do like this video, make sure that you subscribe hit the little bell so that you get notified every time a video is released. I typically release these on Fridays. I know I'm a little behind today, but it's because of my vacation with my family. So we're a little bit uh, out of touch yesterday and the day before. We weren't uh, anywhere where I could get on this video, but I uh, wanted to get this out to you now. So um, again, I hope you guys all have a fantastic week. Hope you guys all crush it out there. And until next week, take care, everybody.